Hi, I'm Al. Welcome back to Al's Vinyl Collection. Today, I'm breaking away from the current trend on this channel, and I'm checking out something from the depths of the uh, of the reaction to do to to react to list. So today, I'm I'm excited about this one because it's something new. I've I've listened to a lot of uh, you know, ACDC, Metallica, Bright Eyes, Tool, and Pink Floyd. So I'm excited to see a new name on the channel. But uh, this was requested a while back. We're going to be listening to Rush. Um, I know one Rush song which is close to the heart, and that's only from uh, the TV show Trailer Park Boys. Um, but this song is called The Spirit of Radio. I know nothing about it. I don't want to know anything about it. I want to experience this for the first time. So join me for The Spirit of Radio. I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> Let me just pause it for the first and only time, just to say, that was the probably possibly the most confusing first forty seconds of a song I've heard in a long time. I had no idea where the song was going, but once it once it kind of got in got into it, I, each section was enjoyable. Um, I, the the first kind of ten seconds I was a little bit unsure, but I loved the vocalist's voice so much. It's it it so it's so great. I've like I said, I've only heard closer to the heart, and I loved it there as well. Loved his voice there, but it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Bon Scott almost. Um, but like, yeah, I think this this current this song so far, the melody has just been absolutely gorgeous. <laughs>
words were written on the studio wall. the end then um i have to make sure it doesn't run into the next songs you, you, usually i've got these on all on the playlist so it would run in like run into like a school song or something that was uh, a really interesting song i really really enjoyed that i think i was a little bit confused like i said when i paused it and i said that it felt like it was uh the first 40 seconds felt really kind of strange and it was changing so much but i think that was it feels that's what they're going for I'm, I can't hear it, but I'm going to bring it back to just hear this this bit here. I wonder if that's almost meant to sound like a raid, like meant to be like the radio tuning, because it keeps cutting in. It keeps kind of they keep interjecting with that with that little riff, and especially when it changed here to for the words the prophets were written on the studio wall concert hall, which obviously as well is that a reference to the sound of silence. I like how it's the words of the prophets, as in, as in, you know, monetary profit, prophets. Um, but the words of the prophets were written on the subway halls and tele- uh, subway walls and tenement halls. So, for the words of the prophets were written on the studio wall, concert hall. It's very, very similar. I think maybe that could be a reference. Um, but it kind of it went into that almost like a like a ska reggae kind of. It, there was the guitar, the nice, nice skank on the guitar. Um, which was a real surprise to hear the song go in that direction. Um, and I wonder if that's what they were going for. Maybe it was meant to, the whole song was meant to sound like uh, like a radio tuning, kind of getting the essence. I mean, it's called the spirit of radio, right? So it's kind of like the essence of the radio. Maybe that's what it was, was trying to, trying to pack in a few different uh, genres and playing styles into one song to make it sound almost like it's on the radio, the capture the essence of the radio through the song, The Spirit of Radio. I don't know. I don't know. That was a really cool song, though. Um, I really love the vocalist's voice so much. And Alex Lifeson is the guitarist, right? I know he I know he is, but when I watch Trailer Park Boys, and that's probably the worst place to get my rush knowledge. But uh, I know Alex Lifeson is then was he always in was he always the, the guitarist from rush let me just see when this this is from their 1980 album permanent waves was this their first album perhaps i've see i just clicked on their profile on spotify i recognize these faces no this wasn't this wasn't their first album this wasn't close to being their first album okay oh a farewell to kings is where closer to the heart comes from Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'm going off on a tangent here. That was a great song. That was a really cool song. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Um, Rush, if this hits the Rush fans, if a Rush fan finds this, uh, please give me another Rush song to listen to. I wouldn't really know where to start. Otherwise, I'll just start recording videos going through their top songs on Spotify, which is always a good good way to do it too. Um, But I'd rather hear a song that the fan loves, you know. Then something that I've just picked out at random. But if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It helps me greatly. And also over 95% of the people who watch these videos aren't subscribed. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. So what are you waiting for? Hit the button and the bell as well. That's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing people say. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Go on then. Why not? Why not? Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.